Hello friends, today I'll be reading from The Complete Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams, um, which I recommend reading to your children. This is from book two, The Restaurant at the End of the Universe, chapter 15. The Restaurant at the End of the Universe is one of the most extraordinary ventures in the entire history of catering. It has been built on the fragmented remains of... It will be built on the fragmented... That is to say, it will have been built by this time, and indeed has been... One of the major problems in time travel is not that of accidentally becoming your own father or mother. There is no problem involved in becoming your own father or mother that a broad-minded and well-adjusted family can't cope with. There is no problem about changing the course of history. The course of history does not change because it all fits together like a jigsaw. All the important changes have happened before the things that were supposed to change, and it all sorts itself out in the end. The major problem is quite simply one of grammar. And the main work to consult in this matter is Dr. Stan Street, Dr. Dan Street Mentioner's Time Traveler's Handbook of 1001 Tense Formations. It will tell you, for instance, how to describe something that was about to happen to you in the past before you avoided it by time jumping forward two days in order to avoid it. The event will be described differently according to whether you are talking about it from the standpoint of your own natural time, from a time in the further future, or a time in the further past and is further complicated by the possibility of conducting conversations conversations while you are actually traveling from one time to another with the intention of becoming your own mother or father. Most readers get as far as the future semi-conditionally modified sub-inverted plagal past subjunctive intentional before giving up, and in fact in later editions of this book all the pages beyond this point have been left blank to save on printer costs, printing costs. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy skips slightly over this tangle of academic abstraction, pausing only to note that the term future, perf future perfect has been abandoned since it was discovered not to be. To resume, the restaurant at the end of the, at the, end of the universe is one of the most extraordinary ventures in the entire history of catering. It is built on the fragmented remains of an eventually ruined planet, which is, we all have and be, enclosed in a vast time bubble, and projected forward in time to the precise moment of the end of the universe. This is, many would say, impossible. In it, guests take, willin on take, their places at table and eat, willin on eat, sumptuous meals while watching, willin watchin, the whole of creation explode around them. This, many would say, is equally impossible. You can arrive, Mayan arrive and on win, for any sitting you like without prior late for win reservation because you can book retrospectively, as it were, when you return to your own time. You can have an on book haven't a for win pre sooning returning when to retro home. This is, many would now insist, absolutely impossible. At the restaurant, you can meet and dine with my and meet and con with dine and on and win, on win, a fascinating cross-section of the entire population of space and time. This, it can be explained patiently, is also impossible. You can visit as many times as you like my and on visit, uh, re <laughs> you can visit it as many times as you like my and on visit, re on visiting, and so on. For further tense correction, consult Dr. Street Mentioner's book, and be sure of never meeting yourself because of the embarrassment this usually causes. This, even if the rest were true, which it isn't, is patently impossible, say the doubters. All you have to do is deposit one penny in a savings account in your own era, and when you arrive at the end of time, the operation of compound interest means that the fabulous cost of your meal has been paid for. This, many claim, is not merely impossible, but clearly insane, which is why the advertising executives of the star system of Bastabalon come up with this slogan. If, you are, if you've done six impossible things this morning, why not round it off with breakfast at Millaway's, the restaurant at the end of the universe?